when I was younger, I would um, play in a garage, basically. Um, my stepdad was into motorbikes, um, so I'd be in the garage, I'd be tinkering on with his motorbike, and I mean, I'm talking about 10 year old. I'd build bird boxes just to put in the garden for something to do. I was always tinkering with things, like fix things that didn't really need fixing, just to give it a go. Right, you've got carbonated fire in here to you, and firefighters. I've done 10 years now. Um, when I first joined, I'd say the first five years were the better years, um, but then I was younger then, so I enjoyed it. My parents live abroad, so I was a bit like, yeah, I, I don't need to be at home, so I want to be away. Um, but I've done three changes in this branch now, so I joined as an MEM, and then it changed to technical to get people through faster. So that's what I am now in LET, and now it's changing again to mechanics and electrical. Um, that change is due to come in next year, I think. Um, so we'll see from there. But at the minute, with pushing people through promotions, I think it's a good thing. But I still think that you do need that time at sea to get experience before you are promoted. I think that's what the Navy kind of need to look at, the balance between it. Because um, there's people that have been at sea for a long time and they're not getting the promotions. But it's all changing and hopefully it does change for the best. As soon as you get on board, you're doing your travelling, you're having fun, you're playing sport on the flight deck or you're having a downtime. But then we, we are learning every day. We have to learn in this branch for an ME. I mean, I have task books I have to do, get signatures of doing different tasks. And I have to do tasks every day, and it, it never stops. I do it at PO level, I do it at a chief level. Um, if I wanted to go officer, then you, you're still learning with this branch. So you have to give it the chance. Um, a lot of people will join and think, oh, it's not for me. I'm going to be going away more than I thought I was going to be away. But I think you have to look at the world now, the situation that we're in. If you're going to be in the Navy, you're going to go away. You're going to travel. But as soon as you've done that first deployment and you realise actually it's not all bad, because it's harder alongside. A lot, a lot of people will say it's much harder alongside because you work a lot. But they kind of relax a bit when you go to sea, depending on the situation you're in. Um, I've had deployments where I've been to Singapore. I've had so much downtime. I've been like, am I actually on a warship? Because I've had that much time off. Um, to go and do sport, AT, and then you have deployments like the Libya deployment where we didn't, we did 12 hour watches and you had to get on with it. But it's a situation, I think. It's a good laugh, the Navy. Yeah, I love it. I wouldn't still be here if I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs>